It was the revolution they said could never happen. But it did happen here in Egypt. Hundreds of thousands came onto the streets to bring down a president. They said it was leaderless, but Al Jazeera followed the leaders of one youth movement as they mobilized their supporters to demand change. This is their story as we saw it unfolding over those tumultuous days and weeks. As the uprising began, we found them here in a nondescript Cairo office. وفي الاخر الناس كلها بتتكلم على الشباب ومفيش جايه ومصالح الشباب غيرنا فالمفروض يكون احنا الفتره الجايه او الفتره الحاليه احنا الممثلين واحنا اللي بنتكلم عن مطالب الشباب الفتره الجايه. This is the April 6 youth movement among the key instigators of the revolution. الموضوع ايه؟ ايه هي مطالبنا؟ اللي هو اه انا مترشح مبارك وابنه اللي هو يعني مش اصلاحات يعني اجراءات فوريه مع وعد انا مترشح مبارك وابنه حل مجلس الشعب قانون صوارخ حركه شعب الاحزاب اصلاحات they're a group of revolutionary volunteers. Ahmed Maher is the coordinator of the movement, a position that's repeatedly landed him in prison and lost him jobs. Mohammed Adal is co-founder and Maher's right-hand man. Other core members include Facebook coordinator Amal Sharif and Amr Ali, who plans when, where and what protests happen. In the street below their ad hoc offices, the revolution they helped spawn is in full swing. كان كان دايما في بالي ان احنا مش 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 مستهدفين حسن مبارك كرئيس جمهوريه مصر بس لا احنا مستهدفين الرئيس اللي متحكم في معظم الدول العربيه اللي هو فعلا لو الراجل ده سقط كل الدول العربيه ممكن يحصل فيها تغيير The April 6 movement and its young leaders have brought a sense of freedom and possibility to the streets of Egypt. <تصفيق> Yeah. You know everyone. Ah, these are friends in political area. The fact they've brought the aging president to the brink of departure after 30 years in power is intoxicating. There's almost a carnival atmosphere in Tahrir Square, but what looks spontaneous has been in the making for three long years. It was at a textile strike on April 6, 2008, that the movement was born. Maher used a Facebook site to enlist support for the strike, and 70,000 people hit the streets. The demonstration was the biggest Egypt had seen in years, an example of people power that inspired the creation of the April 6 youth movement. They began work mobilizing for democratic change. They've been trying to get people on the streets ever since. It's not easy in politically apathetic Egypt, the population worn down by decades living in fear under a corrupt, repressive regime. April 6 looked for help from other countries, where people power had successfully overthrown dictators. Former members of Otpor, the Serbian student movement that toppled Slobodan Milosevic, shared their experience with leaders of April 6. Mohamed Adel went to Serbia to learn firsthand how to bring down a dictator. Mohamed Adel came back from Serbia with videos and teaching aids. Serbian revolutionaries explaining tactics of non-violent struggle. Was, there is no war between police and us. We together are the victims of the system. And there is no reason to be to have war between victims and victims. <laughs> The keys to success, they are told, are unity, discipline and planning. 
keep people engaged with chants and slogans, and be clear in your aims. It's an annual public holiday in Egypt, a day that traditionally celebrates the police. April 6th had already organized its usual anti-police day rally on Facebook. This year, the timing could not have been better for the organizers. A few days before, Tunisian people power had ousted their dictator. The turnout for police day is beyond Maher's dreams. Tens of thousands have come out in Cairo, and there are similar family-friendly marches in Alexandria, Suez, and Mansoura. But not everyone is happy. It may be police day, but the police are not in celebratory mood. April 6 are now well-versed in the tactics of non-violent conflict. They hold their hands up in compliance and tamp down the rising anger. They salute and even hug the police. Protesters are making their way to iconic Tahrir Square. They are a young, educated and computer literate crowd. I heard uh, about April 6th from uh, Facebook. I'm not into politics. I just, um, I wanted to do something for my country, something positive. That's the happiest day in my life. The protesters don't want to go home. Many seem determined to continue and camp out for the night. Some say that what happened in Tunisia can't happen in Egypt, but these people don't appear to have heard. لما كنا بننزل يوم 6 ابريل كان بيبقى في عدد كبير ولكن الناس كانت بمجرد ما تصطدم بالامن المركزي كان بينتهي ال... كنا طبعا فرحانين جدا ومش مصدقين ان ان كل الاعداد ديت نزلت لاول مره وكنا بالليل قلنا خلاص ان الثوره بدات دي ثوره ويعني زي ما حدث في تونس It's now three days on and thousands are still camped out on Tahrir Square April 6 has set up their secret headquarters this borrowed office now serves as a nerve center for what they're starting to call the revolution. Activist Islam Luka and Amal Sharif are fielding calls from protesters on the square. There have been clashes with police and some arrests. Ahmed Maher is, as ever on his computer, communicating with activists online. It turns out his right-hand man, Mohammed Adel, has been arrested. <laughs> Police attention is something they're all used to. كان بيحصل في بعض الاجتماعات إن إحنا كان بيبقى متواجد أمن في زي مدني وكانوا يعني كانوا بيبقوا ملحوظين أو كانوا بيبقوا معروفين نوعا ما بس إحنا كنا بنتجاهل ده تماما لأن إحنا كنا شايفين إن إحنا بنأدي رسالة مهمة لازم يتوفر فيها العلنية. In his other life, Maher is a professional man, married with one child and another on the way. أبشر مهندس مدني ودارس إدارة مشروعات يعني. ممكن يكون دوت بسبب وبرضه الحاجه ام الاختراع زي ما بيقولوا يعني. الهدف ممكن مثلا محتاج اعمل حاجه معينه ب... بتعلمها يعني مع الوقت خصوصا انا كمان مش 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 حد اداري ولكن يعني التعامل مع الناس والعمل مع الناس كويس. He'll need those skills with hundreds of thousands expected on the streets tomorrow. And politicians from many opposition factions now getting in on the act. It's been three long days. Tomorrow promises to be longer. Friday dawns. They're calling it the Day of Rage. A bruised Mohammed Adel has been freed overnight. He's drafting a press release with Islam Luka. 
ما فيش نت لازم حد من الشارع يبني احنا بنكلم ناس بنكلم ناس من انجلترا وهولندا وامريكا عشان يحشدوا لنا عشان ينشروا طيب ما من غير خالد سعيد مجرد ان الامن شافني في العربيه نزلني من العربيه ونزل فيا طح الامن نازل فيا وبيطحني بالبوكس وبالعصيان كان في اسماعيل الشاعر مدير امن القاهره نازل فيا ضرب قال لي خدوه على العربيه غير كده كمان اضافي الظباط في الشارع كله ظابط يشوفني ها آه عملتوا ثوره بقيتوا زي تونس خلي الفيسبوك ينفعكم He straight back into work, sorting out a list of mosques and churches where people can gather. The plan is that after Friday prayers, marches from across the capital will converge on Tahrir Square using a myriad of tiny alleyways, making it impossible for police to stop everyone. But there's a hitch. <laughs> Mobile phones and the internet, the key organizational tools of April 6th, everything is cut off by the government. They're going prepared in case of attack. Amra Ali instructs protesters on how to act in the streets. They have to go in groups of four or five. They don't wear April 6th insignia. This is not about the group, they say but about unity of all Egyptians in the goal of deposing the Mubarak regime. We have a lot of people in the army that are going to the army. There are four countries, but they are very important. They are very important to the army, which is a very important country for people, because this is the country that has been in the economy that we have been in the country right now. They're heading to Abiseya, a neighborhood in the north of Cairo. After the unexpected success of Tuesday's rally, their ambition is to get a million people out on the square today. Everyone in the movement has their job. This group is responsible for marshalling support in this district and getting bodies on the square. But not everyone is happy with what's happening. Already, Tahrir Square is buzzing. With no phones or internet, people have to come down just to find out what's going on. Back at headquarters, someone has donated a satellite dish and TV. With all sorts of rumors going around, the only way to get reliable information is via satellite TV news. So about uh, 4,000 soldiers from the army are in the streets, now in the main squares in the streets. We don't know exactly, is it uh, right or wrong, because no, no way to communicate with anybody. But then things start to get hairy. They are beating people in the streets. A group of protesters is being prevented by police from getting to Tahrir Square. They've been forced up the side roads as far as the April 6 headquarters. The police are in hot pursuit, firing tear gas. It looks like they'll be pushed back but more protesters are arriving from another district. It's April 6th strategy in action. The police can't guard every access route, so the crowd swells. Then surprise, everything stops for prayers. 
the police turn their backs in a gesture of respect. But once prayers are over, the protesters are back to it. People appear to be surrounding the police. And then, with force of numbers, they break through to Tahrir Square. Already, people are arriving from the streets to make use of the makeshift clinic April 6th has set up. Our aim is democracy and freedom for this country. And uh, it's great to see that uh, now all the people uh, had managed to get rid of the excessive fear and loss of hope that had always crippled them for years. People are recounting details from all across town. There's congratulations all around for the size of today's demonstration. That night they watch reports of the events they helped put in motion. The ruling party headquarters is on fire. It's confirmed that the army is on the streets and the police have completely withdrawn. The protesters are delighted to see the back of the police and their brutality. They put their faith in the army to stop the violence. <laughs> With police off the streets, under the cover of darkness, looting starts. April 6 members work throughout the night, helping to protect Tahrir Square from looters, thugs and pro-Mubarak supporters, ensuring the safety of protesters sleeping there. It's just six days since Ahmed Maher first inspired his supporters to come out for that police day protest. He feels confident enough to hold a press conference in the safe house. Journalists want to know what they're thinking about the future, about the shape and leadership of a possible new government. They want the world to know they have victory in their sights, but they'll need support to be victorious. Ahmed Maher is well aware the military is crucial to the outcome of this process, and having the army on board is an early priority. President Mubarak is on state television addressing the nation. Expectations are high and no one wants to miss it. No one believes him. And sure enough, he says he's not willing to relinquish power now. The reaction here is not surprising. We need to 
The next day, thousands of Mubarak supporters flood into Tahrir Square, and running battles ensue. It's certainly not over. Mubarak is going to fight to stay in power. Cairo has become chaotic and dangerous, with machete-wielding gangs roaming the streets. Then, state security agents raid the April 6 headquarters. Pictures appear on the internet of the trashed offices. Ahmed Maher was on the square, but the 25 activists who were inside at the time were arrested and taken away. But the people will not be cowed. They remain on Tahrir Square in their thousands. Until eventually, senior military officers see the writing on the wall and withdraw support for the president. On the 11th of February, President Mubarak steps down from power. At that moment, it was the happiest moment of my life. And I kept screaming and yelling and couldn't, couldn't keep myself. And, and I went to Tahrir Square right away. But uh, I realized that it was not the end. It was just the beginning. <laughs> after, the, after the shock was over, I realized that, that we just started. It's a week after the fall. With Mubarak gone and Egypt under military rule, it's time for a new headquarters for the April 6 movement. This dilapidated building has been donated by a supporter. They need it. April 6th's recognition and reputation is much enhanced. They now have thousands of members across Egypt, from north to south, east to west. Things are looking up. Ahmed Maher has been invited to meet the High Military Council, the new rulers of Egypt. He will insist the hated emergency law be lifted, a new government appointed, and all political prisoners freed. But what power does April 6th really have to bring about change? <laughs> بالتأكيد هنكون موجودين في الشارع بصورة كبيرة لغاية ما نضمن المطالب دي تحقق بالكامل. April 6th is on a recruitment drive. Shahinaz Michel is an unlikely revolutionary. She lives in a middle class area of South Cairo and joined April 6th last year, having followed them on Facebook. وأنا لقيتهم شباب بيحب بلده قوي. زي ما أنا بحب بلدي قوي ما فيش أيديولوجيات مفروض عليهم ما بيتعملوش من منطلق وصول لسلطة وده كان مهم بالنسبة لي جدا لأن أنا ما بسعاش لسلطة أنا واحدة عايزة أشوف بلدها زي زي أحسن بلد في الدنيا زي أمريكا وزي فرنسا ما ينقصهاش حاجة شاهيناز is setting up an April 6 group in this area and is recruiting new members she talks to anyone and everyone. 
90% of Egyptians didn't vote in the last election, and Shahina sees her role in the revolution as educating people in the meaning of democracy. It's Friday. Hundreds of thousands have come out to celebrate the triumph of the revolution and commemorate those who died. A freshly shaven Mohammed Adel is relieved that people are still prepared to fight on. Mubarak is gone. Now the goal is to bring down the whole government. The newly formed coalition of youth groups has plans to demonstrate here every Friday until their demands are met. They haven't changed, freeing political prisoners, changing the government and scrapping the emergency law. Three times a week, people are invited to come to the headquarters to find out what April 6th is all about. Turnouts are always bigger than expected. Ahmed Maher, Mohandis Madani, 13 Sana, Mugawaz Mkhalif, Musagan Fatagam Al Khamis, Munasak Harkat Sitta Abri. وخلاص بقى مين اللي جابني دلوقتي؟ انت بتدور كل حد يعرف اسمه هو حلو او شغل This in itself speaks of a new Egypt. People confident to state their names in the presence of strangers at an opposition meeting. It would have been unthinkable just a few weeks ago. عاطف مبين عبد الرحيم مدير مطعم في الجزائر. كان واضح ان في كل التخصصات يعني في دكاتره ومهندسين ومحاسبين ومحامين و كل المهن وكل الفئات وفي وفي يومن ريسورسز يعني حاجه محتاجينها جدا في شرطه يعني حد يعني after so many years of fearful silence they can't wait to speak out قبل ما نتكلم عايزين نعمل ايه الثوره في خطر احنا عملنا ثوره دي اول ثوره في التاريخ الصور قاعدين في الشارع والحكومه والرئيس قاعد في الحكم افكار والى اخره لا انقذوا الثوره بس شكرا جزيلا but Maher is looking to the future. He tells them April 6th is on the way to becoming the biggest organization of any sort in Egypt. Not a political party, but a powerful pressure group that will keep tabs on every authority and government department, from trade unions to finance and defense. <laughs> Despite only two minutes for each speaker, the meeting runs well into the night. إذا سمحت للجيش المصري أن يفعل هذه الثورة سوف يسيطر عليها إذا المطلوب استكمال إسقاط النظام وتحديد العلاقة مع الجيش هكذا يمكن أن تنتصر هذه الثورة شكرا April 6 say they're adding 500 new members every day not all share the same views. Ahmed Maher's faith in the army leaves him isolated from some supporters.
محسومه كل متفق عليها ونقاط عليها نقاش but he's got fans far away and receives an unexpected invitation the dear mr maher you are invited to attend a small round table discussion tomorrow with british minister david cameron i tried to call you many times please call me Although the impact of the message was lost on Maher, as he doesn't appear to know who David Cameron is. <laughs> Most of the April 6 volunteers have day jobs as well. Ahmed Maher spends weekdays in the office of an engineering company, working as a project manager on low-cost housing developments. <laughs> ولكن بحاول قدر الامكان يعني مواعيد العمل من الصبح من الساعه الصبح للساعه 5 أه بكون في الشغل طبعا قبل الثوره كان الموضوع صعب أه بعد الثوره الموضوع مستحيل يعني صعب جدا يعني After 5 o'clock he's back to organizing and negotiating for April 6th He spends his time on his phone to coordinators across Egypt and going from meeting to secret meeting Today, it's the British Prime Minister. David Cameron's first stop is to Field Marshal Tan Tawi. He was Mubarak's defense minister for 20 years, now de facto ruler of the country. Both he and Prime Minister Ahmed Shafiq were close allies of Mubarak. They tell Cameron democratic reform is on track. Then it's the turn of Maher and other members of the coalition of youth groups to give their version of how reform is progressing. طبعا بالتاكيد اهميه اللي عملناه احنا عملنا حاجه يعني تاريخيه سواء في مصر او في العالم كله يعني عشان كده كل الناس مهتمه جدا تشوف شباب اللي عملوا او ساهموا في عمل حاجه زي كده. قلقين من 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 البطء الشديد في تنفيذ مطالبنا، قلقين جدا من من تجاهل الشباب ودور الشباب ما فيش تفاصيل بتتقال باستمرار كلامنا احنا عن عن مخاوفنا لغايه دلوقتي يعني. The coalition of youth groups calls a midweek rally to demand the release of political prisoners. The high military council reneged on its promise to free them last Friday. But the turnout is poor. النهارده اليوم اتعرض لبعض المشاكل بسبب في الدعوه بسبب ان بعض الطيارات اعلنت دعوه مضاده بالغاء اليوم لكن الشعب المصري والشباب المصري نزل النهارده وقال ان هو نازل ما استجابش دعوه He means counter revolutionaries it's suspected to be the old tactic of divide and rule that served Mubarak so well The security apparatus of the state is still intact the military police are out in force and their behavior becomes increasingly aggressive they stop us from filming. <laughs> Having banned protests, military police start driving protesters off the square at night and arresting people. There are increasing signs of a counter-revolutionary backlash. The Egyptian museum is commandeered as a holding center. احنا احنا تعذبنا جوه بالشراسه الصوري شعري انا شعري كان طويل جدا الصوري شعري وتعذبنا وكهربنا وجلدونا وكل حاجه وخرجوني انا رامي is a well known singer he was arrested on the square one night along with 180 others انا قعدت اربع ساعات عند المتحف وخرجت المشكله كلها بقى في الاولاد والبنات اللي راحوا السجن واتبهدلوا هناك يعني and on the internet, there is yet more proof this fight isn't over. This video shows a provincial security chief addressing his men. It gives a hint of what the revolutionaries are up against. But the state security services are about to get a shock. On the 5th and 6th of March, crowds gather outside the hated state security buildings in Cairo and Alexandria, demanding to be let in. Adele and members of April 6 are recording events on mobile phones. 
There is evidence the documents are being destroyed. The military guarding the complex is taken aback. But the people have the wind in their sails and won't be stopped. It is the military who in the end back off and the people break their way in. To get to the rooms where the files are stored, they have to break through to underground cells. Mohammed Adel is a computer specialist. He quickly gets down to work. Now the head of state security has himself been arrested and is spending time in a prison cell. People are starting to see the impact of the revolution on their own lives. On March 19th, a referendum is held on constitutional amendments for a fairer political system. People vote yes in high numbers, and elections are set for just six months' time. <laughs> إن المصريين نزلوا كانوا نزلين مؤمنين إن هم نزلين بقى واسقين في الصندوق بدون سيطرة أي حد بدون توجيه من أي حد إن لأول مرة المصريين هيكونوا حرين في اختيارهم. But nobody at April 6 thinks the old regime is dead and gone. There's a strange YouTube posting by an ex-army officer today calling for sympathetic officers to join protesters at next Friday's demonstration. <laughs> No one knows quite what to make of it. It's thought it could be a trap, but it's creating a lot of anticipation. When the rally day arrives, it's the biggest crowd since Mubarak fell. That one goal of removing a dictator has multiplied into any number of personal revolutions. On Tahrir Square today, the workers are in revolt against corrupted union officials and demanding fair pay. And here is a group demanding freedom for Palestine under the banner of the revolution. Everyone has found their voice. But the majority are here for a so-called day of cleansing, demanding the High Military Council prosecute Mubarak and that Field Marshal Tantawi resign for ignoring their demands. <laughs> April 6th is out in force. There's a feeling of anticipation. People are expecting that the sympathetic army officers will show themselves on the square. The mood is light and hopeful. Protesters are calling for justice for the 800 people who've died since the revolution began. They blame Mubarak and want him tried for murder. But there's disagreement in the square over whether the army is supporting these calls. The problem that we're having is that the army is in rule and the army is still not prosecuting 
Mubarak nor his regime. Now the higher council is only a new name for Mubarak. Now we have removed Mubarak and got in 15 other Mubaraks with the same dictatorship and same rule and everything. The revolution hasn't changed the rule in Egypt. It has only attempted to change the rule, but we have not changed the rule yet. But April 6th is more pragmatic about the military. المجلس العسكري بنشتغل معاه عن طريق الضغوط السياسيه، ان احنا بنتحاور معاه سياسيا، اما ان احنا بنوصل له طلباتنا واذا حصل تباطؤ في ده بنعمل زي الجمعه النهارده، بنعمل مظاهره مليونيه، احنا لحد دلوقتي الطلبات اللي بنطلبها بتتنفذ، ممكن يكون في تاخير لكن ما فيش ممكن يكون في تباطؤ لكن ما فيش تواطؤ. And then some military officers do appear. They speak to the people and tell them they won't leave the square until Mubarak is tried and Tantawi gone. The people may have liked it, but the High Military Council has threatened courts martial. But the officers stay on the square into the night. <laughs> There's a feeling of disbelief next morning. No one knows what to think. The lightheartedness of yesterday is replaced by tension and fear. Feelings are running high. There is fervent disagreement about what happened. Last night's missiles litter the square, and rumors abound. <laughs> They killed him by uh, this and uh, the hammer. Officially, one person was killed, more than 70 injured. Protesters are determined to stay on the square in defiance. The barbed wire, meant to keep them out, is reassigned to protect them from further attack. Destroyed tents are scrambled back together. Faith in the military to stand with the people is shattered. It changed, but from the beginning, we said that we didn't have anything called a military. We said that we were going to take care of the military, but there was no such thing called a military. We were going to take care of the military at the time, and we were going to take care of the military. It was a place for the government, or a place for the government, Three days later, as if to appease protesters, television news beams in reports of Mubarak and his sons being interrogated on charges of corruption and the murder of innocent protesters. Mubarak Sr. has a heart attack and is rushed to hospital. His sons are put in prison. The news is well received in the April 6th offices. But the revolution continues, newly invigorated by the terrible events on the square. The priority now is to replace military rule with a democratically elected civilian government. All efforts are put into the elections set for September. <laughs> Their role, along with keeping political change on track, is to get as many people voting as possible. Unlike other opposition groups, April 6 is determined to remain a pressure group and not become a political party. In Egypt, there was a 
اول ما حد ينضم للحراك السياسي السياسي او اي مجموعه سياسيه يتسال الاشتراكي ولا ليبرالي ولا يساري ولا القومي ولا طب ليه لازم اقول كلام لازم اقول حد من دول طب ممكن اعمل حاجه ثانيه جديده Reham Maher has barely seen her husband during the revolution. Even when they were engaged, Ahmed was in prison. Three days ago, she gave birth to their second child. Ahmed only just made it back for the birth. He's a boy, a child of the revolution. The name for him is Nidal. Which means? Uh, resistance. <laughs> because we are in a revolution. <laughs> Ahmed hopes his son will reap the benefits of what he and the other young activists have done to transform Egypt's future. What April 6th and the other opposition groups achieved by being on Tahrir Square has been an inspiration across the region and beyond. But ending something and building something new are two different things. This week, April 6th broke with other groups in the coalition of youth movements. Differences are already surfacing. Without unity, will they be able to hold the High Military Council to account and by force of numbers in the square, remind them that people power is still the power in the land.